Hi, today I'm making a video about how to get the seeds from the pumpkin. This is the pumpkin and I um, I just cut it in half and I already started uh, taking the seeds and then you see the seeds are here in the middle and what you do is that you get them out like this I use a spoon and I just get it out and then I go through the seeds and I look for the biggest ones the ones that are thicker those ones I wash just with water taking the excess and then I put them to dry and I can show you I already have drying butterscotch seeds that I got from uh, a really beautiful butterscotch pumpkin uh, the other day once I washed them I put them in a tray open so it's air around and it will dry and once I have dried them then I will pack them the, here's the butterscotch and I will pack them in paper and leave them out for a while. After that, I can pack them either in paper or in boxes that I usually uh, have around. And uh, that's it. So, to resume, out of the pumpkin, you look for the biggest. You look for the biggest seeds. You wash them with water. Put them in a tray to dry. Don't put it in paper because if you put it in paper to dry, then it will get stuck to the paper and it will be very difficult to get. And then you blue, and then you will put them in paper. And these ones, even these ones that have been dry for a while, got a little bit stuck. And then you mark them. When did you get them? What's that you have there? And if you want to get the date, for me it's 20, uh, 2023 because I just got them uh, two weeks ago. And um, that's it. And then once they are taken off the seeds, and just only this, uh, the meat, it's there, I, I can cook them even with the skin on, doesn't matter. I put some salt here, and then I use it as a puree or making a South American dish. Uh, and another thing that I do is I just cut and just put them raw to the freezer. Now I have here the biggest ones. These ones I can use to sew. I have two years for them. Um, and uh, the other ones, the, less, the left ones that also were kind of big, but not the biggest ones. I'm going to do the following. I wash all of them anyways. And what I do with them is to wash them like this fast. To take the excess, the kind of slimy, slippery. So I wash them and then they are, you can see them, they have changed color. I will let them dry and these ones I'm going to roast in salt so I can eat them. Well, these are some of the things you can do with pumpkins and uh, this one is very good because it has really big seeds and I love the meat. They do uh, a great, great puree. Okay, that was all for today and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.